What's up everyone, it's Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video we are going to be covering the floating point data types, specifically float and double. These data types are used to store estimated values. The numbers that they store can only be so precise. They are well known for causing problems when doing math problems. We will get some weird numbers and some odd results. And the reason that is, is because these data types are only capable of maintaining a certain level of precision. That means you only want to use these data types when you don't need exact values. If you do want exact values, you will want to use a fixed point data type is what they're known as. And that could be decimal. If you're using whole numbers, you could use int. And even if you're not using whole numbers, you could still use int and then do some kind of math on it. For example, if you wanted to store money in an int column, you could store it as cents. And then you could divide that number by 100 to get a dollar amount. But I'm getting off topic, so let's get back to the topic of floating point numbers. Why exactly are they called floating point? It has to do with the fact that we can present a number in multiple different ways. For example, let's say we have the number 150. Another way we could present this number is some number multiplied by 10 to the power of something. So for example, 1.5 times 10 to the second power. And if you work this out, you would get 1.5 times 100, because 10 to the second power is 100. And then 1.5 times 100 is 150. So you can see these are two different ways to present the same value. And if you think of where the decimal point is, in this situation it's here, and in this situation it's here. So you can kind of see it as floating across the numbers. <laughs> I am probably going to butcher <laughs> this entire explanation, but if you want to know tons of detail, look them all up online. For now, that's a pretty good explanation. <laughs> Essentially, with this data type, behind the scenes, we are going to store some number, and then store what we are going to multiply it by. This is known as scientific notation. Another way to present this would be 1.5e2. That's just a, another representation of this same thing here. This e means times 10. So 1.5 times 10 to the second power. That means when we store a number in one of these data types, we're not just storing the number. We are storing the sign bit, whether it's positive or negative. We are storing what to multiply the number by, and we are storing the number itself. So when we have a certain size for one of these, for example, float takes up four bytes, not all of the bits within those four bytes are used to store a value. That's kind of a good thing, but it's also kind of a bad thing. It's a good thing because since we're storing some number to multiply by, it's going to allow us to store much larger numbers in a smaller amount of space. The downside though is because, let's say this is the number we are storing our data in, and this much is taken, with this and a sign bit, well, this is all that's left for the actual number. Because of this, we have lower precision. So in summary, we have the benefit of storing larger numbers at the cost of having lower precision. Lower precision than what? I guess it'd be lower precision than if we stored the entire number as an exact value, such as using the decimal data type. Now you have to ask yourself a question, should I use this data type? Should I use either one of these? It really depends on the type of data you're storing, and sometimes it's perfectly fine. For example, uh, let, me, let me clean this mess up. Let's say you have the number 15 trillion. I believe that would be this. You can see we are storing a huge number, but the actual two numbers that are most important to preserve are these two right here. That's because we can represent this number as 1.5 times 10 to the 13. In this situation, we don't need a whole lot of precision, because we're only storing two numbers that are going to really be important to us. The length here is going to be preserved. What would change though is if we had like a six here, well, it would be hard to ensure that the six is always going to be a six. Especially when we get into doing math, you can get all kinds of funky results. So if we had some crazy number, as we go this way, we have less assurance of precision. Now I said both of these are floating point numbers. So what exactly is the difference? Well, it just has to do with the size. Float is four bytes, as I said earlier, and double is eight bytes. And because the double has more bytes, it can maintain a higher level of precision. So how much precision can you expect from these numbers? Well, a float, you should be able to maintain around seven digits. And then with double, you can maintain around 15. 
The actual number you can store though is much stinking huger than 15 digits. <laughs> so if we were trying to store something like this, we would be wise to pick the double data type. Now in what situations do you want to use flow? Well, in general, if you have the option, you most of the time are going to want to pick double. That's because for obvious reasons, it has a higher level of precision and MySQL does its calculations using the double data type. So with float, you can get some odd results. Now with double, you can get some odd results too, <laughs> but you can get more odd results with the float. So I would bank on the side of trying to store all your data as the double data type, although that is not required. The ultimate decision is up to you. Just be sure you understand the differences between these two data types. That's all I have to say about float and double. I know I didn't go in tons of detail. And honestly, this is a topic that is pretty confusing. I'm reading it online. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I covered the bare minimum of what is required to understand what the float and double data types are. But if you want to know the exact specifics, go to Stack Overflow or Wikipedia or something like that. <laughs> In conclusion, float and double are data types that can store tons of numbers, including numbers after a decimal point, but they don't maintain precision. If you're unsure whether you should use float or double, just remember this. Prepare for trouble, make it double. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>